What's up guys, this is the photo electric effect 2. So, same concept, what's going to happen is we got a work function of 2.7 electrovolt, um, we got vacuum 1 times 10 to negative 6 watts, which is the same as joules per second, wavelength of 170 nanometers. So the first question, what is the minimum voltage to reduce resulting photocurrent to zero? So basically what we're going to do, let me zoom out. So we're going to do Ke is equal to Hc divided by lambda minus the work function. It's going to be 12, 40 electrovolt nanometers divided by 170 nanometers minus the work function 2.7 electrovolt. And from this I got the maximum kinetic energy. Um, it's going to be 4.59 electrovolt. Cool. So this is the minimum voltage to stop. So the minimum voltage on on this guy in here um, to stop the current from going all the way. Okay. So number two. How many photons per second are incident on the metal. So what we're going to do is we're going to energy of each photon it's going to be Hc divided by lambda and we get 1240 divided by 170 it's going to be 7.29 electrovolt. So that's the energy of each photon. And then they told us in here that the total thing is 1 times 10 to the negative seven, seven, uh, 6 watts. Okay. So what we're going to do, we have the total that's coming in, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 6 joules per second. And then we divided that by the energy of each photon, 7.29 electrovolt. So before we do that, we need to change this to joules. So 7.294, this is in joule. And each is electrovolt. So each electrovolt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. Okay, so multiply this by this. For me, I got 1.1670 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Okay. So when we divide this number, let's actually take this out and put this instead of it. So 1.167 times 10 to the negative 18. And then I get an answer of 8.56e to the 11 photon per second. Cool. So number three, this one's a little bit tricky, this is a little bit weird, but let's get to that. Anyway, um, so they want amperes, photocurrent and amperes. Okay. So basically what I did is photon per second times the charge per port, port 
photon. Photon. Can't even talk now. So what I did is 8.56 like to the power 11 times 1.6 e to the 19 negative. So from that I got 1.369 e to the negative 18. Okay. So what I got for number three amperes. So for number four, they're telling us that if what is the cutoff frequency? So cutoff frequency, let's say cutoff frequency. So what that means that the kinetic energy is going to be equal to zero. That means HF is going to be equal to the work function. Okay. So the work function we have is 2.7 electrovolt and then to find the frequency we need to divide this by the H. The H in this case is keep it electrovolts 0.14 times 10 to the negative 15 electrovolt per second. Take this out those will give us 6.517 times 10 to negative 16. That's the same as 1 divided by second square. By second. Alright, guys. Quantum physics is kind of a little bit tough, so bear with me. I'm still trying to understand the two at the same time with you. So, hope this helped. Good luck, guys.